Hey, this is Tyler with TJX Survival. Um, last month we did a video where I covered my little EDC kit in conjunction with some larger stuff like Canteen, Parang, and a poncho with my uh, Grey Ghost throwback bag. But today what we're going to cover is some traditional with a little bit of modern day knowledge type of survival kit. So, we got Kirsten from Boulder Outdoor Survival School, so stay tuned. All right, so a lot of you guys have your EDC for what you're carrying daily in the urban environment. But here at the Boulder Outdoor Survival School, I want to know what they carry daily when they're out teaching. And they'll go out for months at a time. So, Kirsten, awesome. what is your EDC? My EDC, uh, when I'm going out in this backcountry setting, would include some way to make fire. For me, a bow drill fire kit, perhaps a hand drill fire kit. A signaling mirror, mirror or a heliograph. Um, at least 20 to 30 feet of parachute cord. Roll of good quality med tape. A salt rock. A metal or steel canteen. Um, and or some kind of water purification treatment. Super glue. If I don't have the time to make pitch glue, this can be useful for many, many reasons, oftentimes medical reasons. Uh, a steel-tipped <clears throat> point. I can add this to a large dart and fish with it. I could hunt with it. I have a little bit of extra leather wrapped around it in case I need some extra cord. A nice chunk of pitch wood. Uh, pitch keeps the fire a flame going for a long period of time. It's a huge resource. And for those of you guys that don't know really what pitch wood is, I have a how to make fat wood video. Check it out. But basically it's, uh, can you explain to me what it is? Go ahead, go ahead, yeah. um, so what, what exactly is pitch wood so they know? Well, pitch wood is basically, um, often comes from a pine tree and is full of a dense, hardened pitch. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, the last thing I have are a bunch of, these are all actually Paiute traps with plenty of extra cordage on each piece and it looks yeah also a little bit of buckskin and I carry all of this in a mini possibles bag so everything all my gear fits in here but if I wanted to take it out leave it somewhere I could go gather uh, using this pouch which is very convenient and then the last thing I would take with me would probably be my atlatl uh, this is a quickie atlatl, um, and then a few darts, uh, different tips, a uh, nice hunting tip for mid-sized game, um, a blunt tip right now that I would sharpen to a hefty point, uh, and this last one has an end to it where I can put in whatever type of tip I want, so I could fire harden a big tip like this and go hunting with it, or use multiple sp small sticks and fish with it. So that's what I would probably take with me as far as, uh, you know, utility gear. And then for clothing, I would take a nice warm wool hat, fat wool socks, long johns, a Versa cloth, right? Um, this one is alpaca wool, nice and warm, can be used lots of different ways harvest and gather things with it and keep it on my person to keep me warm. If it's the colder months, I'll go ahead and add a sweater to that mix. Uh, once again, big, fat, lofty wool sweater. 
that would probably be it. All right. If you guys have gained any value, please subscribe to this channel. Go check out Boulder Outdoor Survival School, boss-inc.com. I will leave that link down here in the bottom. And please subscribe. Thanks for watching T-Jack Survival. Thank and thank you, Kirsten, for showing us your EDC. Thanks.